MTHFR mutations are one of the most well-studied genetic variations that can affect our diet and health. Specifically, the variations C677T and A1298C. I read them so many times that they're stuck in my head. This video helps to clarify what each of these variations are and what they mean for your health. MTHFR mutations are actually quite common and researchers suspect there are at the very least 30 different types. C677T and A1298C are the most well studied and well tested of the lot. This number and letter sequence refers to what is known as a single nucleotide polymorphism or SNP. The letters and numbers describe where these polymorphisms are and what they look like. Now while a normal MTHFR gene would be C677C, a mutation or polymorphism has made the gene C677T. Now carriers with a T on the gene may have MTHFR enzymes that are less efficient, hence issues associated with an MTHFR mutation. What about the terms heterozygous and homozygous? What do they mean? Well, in genetics, hetero and homo refers to the two letters on the gene. In scientific speak, these are known as alleles. Hetero means different and homo means the same. Now, to use an obvious example, it's the same if we're talking about heterosexuality or homosexuality. For example, for C677T, the alleles are C and T, which are different and therefore heterozygous. Now, T677T is a homozygous mutation, as there are two copies of the same mutant allele, which is T. Now, annoyingly, this is typically referred to as a homozygous C677T, which gets confusing. It's not hard to see why this stuff is confusing and complicated. There is also a compound heterozygous, which is when you have one mutant allele on both the C677 and 1298 base positions. For example, MTHFR C677T plus MTHFR A1298C mutations is a compound heterozygous mutation. Okay, so which type of MTHFR mutation is the most potentially harmful? Heterozygous A1298C is thought to be of minor consequence, if any, while heterozygous C677T may affect folate metabolism by up to 35% at worst. Homozygous mutations, as well as compound heterozygous, are considered the most severe or at risk. Some researchers say homozygous mutations can inhibit MTHFR enzyme function by up to 70%. This of course can have consequences for folate metabolism and related conditions, so things like uh, high homocysteine levels and developing uh, a folate deficiency. If you want to learn more about those things as well as uh, the best diet for you then check out some of my other videos on the channel or follow the links in the description for uh, detailed write-ups of both. Just remember that MTHFR mutations don't directly make you unwell. They may make you more susceptible to poor diet and lifestyle decisions that other people just seem to get away with. But now you can use this information as a tool to make better health decisions for yourself. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a share. And don't forget to uh, click the links in the description if you want to find out more information and subscribe to my YouTube channel.